Okay, nice to see you all. Welcome to another video. What we're going to be looking at in this, this example is we're going to look at the calculation that's required to um, work at how fast your drill should be turning when it is cutting into a piece of material. Okay, now there's some fundamentals you need to be aware of. There's two key elements that we need to consider when it comes to the, the drilling speed. One of those is the material we're going to be drilling into and the other is the drill that we're going to be using. Okay, now the standard procedure is the bigger the drill, the slower the current speed, the harder the material, the slower the current speed. But in industry, we have a recognised formula that allows us to calculate how fast that drill should be turning. Okay, and what you can see, you can see that formula um, just up here. Okay, so we've got a formula. So RPM, which represents revolutions per minute, is equal to 1000 times RCS. Now, what that RCS relates to is these dimensions that are done here. Okay, now these are what we call recommended cutting speeds. All right, now you can see we've got a range of different materials and I've got a range of different recommended cutting speeds. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some softer materials. And for nice example, we've got aluminium and we've got cast iron, which is a harder material. And there's a big difference between the, the recommended cutting speeds. Now, as we as I've already said there, recommended. If you go into different engineering companies, they may use a slightly different value for, for each of these different recommended cotton speeds, but these are just some sort of approximate sizes that I've picked up over the years. Okay. Now, the other factor that we need to take into consideration is not only the recommended cotton speed, but the diameter of the drill. As I said earlier, the bigger the drill, the slower the speed. Okay. Now, the formula that we're going to apply is represented Inside the set of brackets, we've got 1000 times RCS time, divided by pi times diameter, and we divide that by 2. Now, this 1000 is a constant, the pi is a constant, so those never change. Okay. The material you use changes regularly, the diameter of the drill, it can change regularly. So, however, the 1000 and the pi are constants. The divide by 2, in this case, the two is there because if we have a look at our drill itself, and we've got a, a view from the bottom of the drill, we've actually got two cutting surfaces. So if you had a piece of uh, cutting tool with four surfaces, then we divide that by four. But we only use, um, for our drills, we only got two cutting surfaces. So that two is pretty much going to be a constant when it comes to doing any calculations in our workshop set. Okay, so the scenario we've got, we're required to drill a 20 millimeter diameter hole in a piece of aluminium. So that's the two key main bits of info that I need. Okay, now the example that we're using here, we've got the hacksaw handle that many of you have manufactured or will be manufacturing. And you can see I've got a radius on here. Okay, and that radius is 10 millimeters. So hence the reason I'm going to put a 20 millimeter hole in. And then that'll allow me to cut these excess material off and then I'll end up with that radius. All right. Now, the calculation that we're going to do is using up here 20 mil aluminium. So I'm going to lay that out. I'm going to pop these brackets in place because this, this initial section of the formulas um, has to be done separately. Okay. So I'm going to get my constant, which is a thousand. Okay. I'm going to get my pi, which is also a constant. I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom. Okay. Um, I'm going to have a look for my recommended cutting speed. So what material I've got? I've got aluminium, so I'm going to come down and I've got a recommended cutting speed of 60. I'll close those brackets while I'm there. Um, I'm going to divide that by pi times the diameter of the drill. What diameter do I need? I've got a diameter of 20. Okay. With that whole section is going to get divided by two. Now I'll give you a minute just to pop that into your calculator and we'll decide what the answer needs to be. And if you need to pause the video, you can pause it. But here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the answer. All right. 477.46 RPM. All right, now I'm just going to pop that down here. So I'm going to get 477.46 RPM. Don't forget, RPM, revolutions per minute. All right, now that's a very, very exact answer to this question. 
So, oh, find an engineer. It's very unlikely unless we're using some kind of computer operated drilling equipment that we'll be able to get our speed exactly like that. So we'll ground up or down. So we might end up at 480 or 500, may end up down at 450, depending on, depending on what machine we're using. But what we've got here is our approximate drill cutting speed for this scenario. Okay, now you can apply this formula to any size drill, any material, and you always get the correct dimensions if you're using the correct formulas. Okay, now there's some scenarios in your uh, little workbooks, etc., that you can work your way through, and I'll also be making some more of this type of example question available to you on Canvas. So thanks for listening, and if you've got any problems, drop me a message and I'll try and help you as best I can. So take care of yourselves and thanks for listening again. Bye bye.